You ever build a site that loads in 2 seconds, but still feels slow? That's because users don't care about load time, they care about perceived performance, how fast it feels. And that's exactly what Web Vitals measure. There are three main metrics that Google uses to judge a real-world user experience. LCP, largest contentful paint. This measures how fast the main content becomes visible, usually your hero image, big headline or video thumbnail. Aim for under 2.5 seconds. If it's low, check for big media files, render blocking CSS or unoptimized images. INP, interaction to next pane. This one replaced the old FID. It measures how quickly the page responds when the user actually interacts, like clicking a button, typing a field, opening a menu. It looks at the slowest interaction and measures how long it takes from your click until the next frame is visually updated. You want this under 200 milliseconds. If it's higher, your main thread is probably too busy. Maybe heavy scripts, large DOM updates, or maybe too much layout recalculation. CLS, Cumulative Layout Shift. This measures how much the layout jumps around while the page is loading. You know, when you try and click a button and an ad suddenly pushes everything down? Yeah, that's high CLS. Keep it below 0.1. You can fix this by reserving space for images, ads, and embed things so that it doesn't move after the render. These metrics aren't just for bragging rights, they directly impact SEO, conversion rates, and user satisfaction. A site with good web vitals feels faster, even if it technically isn't. You can use tools like Lighthouse, PageSpeed Insights, or Web Vital Library to track these. You can even log them into your analytics to see how users actually experience your site. Follow me for more web dev breakdowns and your next build will pass successfully.